What is your nationality? Your your race. Black, right? Now, your y'all hair black, right? And put some common sense in. Y'all hair black, right? Or y'all the same color as your hair? Y'all not black, right? So let's show you what your real nationality is according to God. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's look at Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because Leviticus 19 and 17. Because I know a lot around here, it's a lot of selling of drugs, right? And it's done right in front of you, because we see it, right? But let's see what God said that is when you sell drugs to your own people. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Go ahead. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So God says we're not supposed to hate our own people in our minds. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So in order to show love to your people, when they're doing something wrong against God's laws, you're supposed to rebuke them, correct them. Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer them to fall into sin. Go against God's laws. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So you're not supposed to bear or have any grudges against the children of your people. So whenever somebody do something to you, you don't hold on to that, right? You're supposed to forgive them and correct them according to the Bible. Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So that's how you love your neighbor as yourself. I know a lot of times we might hear that and we might think, oh, that's giving him a hug. Right, you give them a high five. That ain't loving. That ain't only loving your neighbor as yourself. Loving your neighbor as yourself is, if somebody sells drugs to you, right? What do the drugs do? The drugs make you hallucinate. You defy your temple. You bring destruction upon your own people by selling drugs to them. But let's go that, back to uh, Colossians. Let's go back to Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Let's go the back book now. of Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Go ahead. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So Paul is writing to us. He said, watch out, because danger is coming because somebody is going to come with their own philosophies and lying deceits to trick you into doing what they want you to do or celebrating their traditions. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of men, like Easter. Go ahead. And after the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world, the ways of the world. The ways of the world teaches you to celebrate Easter. The ways of the world teaches you to sell drugs. Right. The ways of the world teaches you to smoke weed, smoke right. cigarettes. The ways of the world teach you to go from woman to woman to woman and not marrying them. The ways of the world teach you to go from man to man to man and not marry them. Right. That's what the world teach you. We've been taught the same thing. Don't believe just because we over here teaching the Bible, hold that good, uh, Titus 3 and 3. Just because we over here teaching the Bible, that don't mean we used to be in the same, we wasn't in the same lifestyles. Some of us used to smoke weed. Some of us used to get drunk, right? Some of us used to be all mongers. But let's see what the Bible say. Go ahead. Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Go ahead. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So yes, ourselves also were once sometimes foolish, right? Go ahead. Disobedient. Disobedient. Deceived. Deceived, because we was deceived. We were celebrating Easter at one point. Right. We was the ones doing drugs, selling drugs at one point. Right. Right? Go ahead. Serving diverse lust and pleasure. Serving diverse lust and pleasure, because what? When you sell that one, that one uh, bag of weed or, or drugs, right? You might get a lot of money from it, right? 
We see the money flowing through here. So that should diverse us by selling drugs just to get money. Why don't you get a job? Right. Why don't you get? Why don't you make your own business? Right. Right. Y'all, y'all don't understand. Y'all are the smartest people on the earth. You don't gotta sell drugs just to make a living. Right. You don't gotta do that. Go ahead. Living in malice living and envy. In, living in malice and envy. Right. Envy is you do what you gotta do wrongfully just to get what somebody else has. Go ahead. Hateful and hating one another. Hateful and hating one another. Hating one another is selling drugs to your own people. That's going to destroy them. Right. They're going to get hooked and addicted to the drugs and can't come out of that. Right? Go ahead. Verse 4. Right. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior to more man, appeared. Now, that is true understanding of the Bible and keeping God's laws to stop us from falling in these different type of things that go against God's commandments have appeared unto us. Right? So let's see something else that needs to be shown to y'all so y'all will not do. Go back to Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh-huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Go ahead. After the tradition of men, uh -huh. after the rudiments of the world, after the ways of the world, go ahead, and not after Christ. And not after Christ. So sis, right on the corner, let me ask you, is Easter of Christ? Does Easter have anything to do with Christ? It don't, right? Right. Because, what? matter of fact, watch this. What do rabbits laying eggs, colorful eggs, got to do with Christ? It don't got nothing to do with Christ, right? Exactly. Because that's what God says. Read it from the top again. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy uh -huh. and vain deceit. So that is a lying deceit that rabbits laying colorful eggs got to do with Christ, right? Go ahead. After the tradition of men, uh -huh. after the rudiments of the world. So the tradition of men and the ways of the world is on Easter Sunday, I'm pretty sure everybody around here possibly are going to be, the kids going to be running around, go to grandma house, mama house. They're going to color, they're going to paint the eggs, right? And hide them out throughout the hood and everybody got to go try to find them, right? You got your Easter ham, all like that, right? So sisters, let me ask y'all, do y'all celebrate Easter? I'm, I'm talking to both of y'all walking. Do y'all celebrate Easter? Oh, y'all tell me the truth is, Ron. No. No, y'all don't? Do y'all used to? Yeah. Y'all used to, right? So, let me ask y'all. Y'all come over real quick. Y'all ain't, ain't got nothing to do, ain't nothing to do today, night Saturday, right? So, let me ask y'all, because y'all probably didn't listen, right? So, Easter, is, in the Bible, we're not supposed to celebrate it, all right? Because Easter don't have nothing to do with Christ. So, first, let me ask y'all. Let me start here. What is y'all nationality? Your, your race. Black, right? Now, your y'all hair black, right? And put some common sense in it. Y'all hair black, right? Or y'all the same color as your hair? They're not black, right? So let's show you what your real nationality is according to God. Because you go to church? You go to church, right? Have you ever heard in church, or did they ever teach you in church who you are in the Bible? You ever heard like, hey, this is, when we read about this nation of people in the Bible, that's talking about us. Have you ever heard that in church? No, you never heard them? Watch this. Let, let me show you how God feel about these people. And then we're going to show you that y'all are these people. Deuteronomy 76. Let's show you what God feels about these people. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh-huh. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. So this is God speaking to the Israelites, right? He said, they are a holy people unto him. Right? Follow me. Go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So God has chosen the Israelites to be his chosen people. Go ahead. To be a special people unto himself. To be special to himself. Right? If something's special to you, what does that mean to you? If something's special to you. Like you will make sure that special thing is taken care of, nothing be done to it. Right? It's one of your favorite things. Right? Right. So that's how God feels about this people. Go ahead. 
the Lord thy God hath chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God says his people, the Israelites, are above all other races on the earth. You understand that? Right. So now let me show you that we are these people that God says are above everybody, right? Oh. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Because I understand a lot of uh, the, the young the young of us, right? Mm -hmm. Slavery is like completely out of our mind, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show y'all what y'all can see today to relate to the curses in the Bible, right? Read verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, if his chosen people, the Israelites, do not listen to his voice, which is the Bible, right? That's what we're reading. Mm -hmm. We're reading the Bible. Go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So Moses told the Israelites, look, if y'all do not listen to God's commandments this day, this right when they came, if y'all know the history, this right when they came out of Egypt through the Red Sea. Y'all know about that? Red Sea splitting, and they walked through the Red Sea. So this right after that, right? Watch this, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee mm -hmm. and overtake thee. So because they broke that, broke God's commandments, curse is going to come upon them, right? So let me ask y'all, is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So let's show you some bad things that happen upon these people that God prophesied about, right? Give verse 16. Verse 16, uh -huh. curse shall thou be in the city. So what? what's your name, sis? You said what? Nakiria. Nakiria? All right, so Nakiria. What, uh, what, whatever city you go to, right? Say Orangeburg, right? We in a city, right? Wherever you go, what people can you look at and say that those people are cursed by how they live? Is Chinese people cursed? Are they living horrible? Now, do you see, right? I don't see it either, right? Is white people living in a, a bad condition? Are they cursed? No, right? You ain't seen it, right? Now, look at our people, right? Now, looking at our people, would you say that we are cursed? Sort of, by how we live in, right? We the ones that in our houses is mold everywhere. Uh, some houses is burnt down, stuff like that, right? It went dead. So, read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. So this is talking about the Israelites. And in whatever city you go to, they are the ones that's going to be cursed. So this ain't talking about Chinese people, white people. It's talking about so-called oh, black, not. Hispanic, and native people, right? So, so, sis, you need to listen to this, all right? They be fine, they ain't going nowhere, all right? So read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. So how were we cursed in the field when we got to this side of the world? How was we cursed? Mm -hmm. What about the cotton fields? We had to pick cotton, right? Yeah. Right, so this is prophesying about our people. So God says we we're gonna be cursed in the field, right? Get verse um, 48. Verse 48. Right. Look at your sign, this, this familiar to you? The slave ships, the chains on the neck and everything. Do you know a little bit about that? Mm -mm. You don't? All right, watch this, watch this. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God says we're gonna to have to serve our enemies, right? Who do you think, what, what people are we serving in this country? Who's ruling this country? Black and white. You said black people? Black and white, I guess. Black and white, so we, we are the presidents, we the ones in the high ups creating laws and stuff? No, no white black. people, right? White people are the ones that's ruling this uh, this country. So God says, what? Read that from the top. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God says we're going to have to serve our enemies, right? When you go, you, uh, you got a job? You do? We, uh, what place you work at? Or say a grocery store or what, right? So what people own the store that you work at? Is it black people? White, White people, right? So we're going to have to serve our enemies, right? Work for our enemies, go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And God sent these people against us because why? We are the Israelites and we broke his commandments, go ahead. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. So in food, right? Like the chips you got right now. You had to go to the store to get that, right? Right. So you have to serve your enemies, right? 
you got to work for them, earn money, right? And then you got to give the money right back to them just to get the bag of chips that you had for hunger. Go ahead. And in one of all things. Right. And in one of all things. Same thing if you want some water, right? Our people have to work to pay their water bill to keep it on, right? If you want some, some Kool-Aid, you want a soda, you have to work for your enemies to earn money just to get that from them, right? And then one of all things also mean you want a car, you want clothes, you understand? Go ahead. And he, and the same enemy, go ahead, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And the same enemy, you say you're not familiar with this, but it's happened to our people, right? So the same enemy during the uh, slavery, 1619, they're gonna put chains on our neck. That's the yokes of iron, right? Go ahead. Until he have destroyed thee. So these chains are gonna be on our necks until we are completely destroyed. That's why when I ask you and uh, your friends or your sisters, I don't know which one, but when I ask y'all, what is y'all race, right? You said black. That's because now the chains are off our neck now and they're in our minds mentally. Now we think we're black. But that's not our real race. Right. Our real race is the Israelites. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So according to the Bible, we are the Israelites. We're not black. We're not African-American, right? You understand what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.